Hello friends, today I'm going to be reacting to Desire I Want to Turn Into You by Caroline Polachek. Happy Valentine's Day, if that day means anything to you. Um, personally, it doesn't mean anything to me, so I'm here reacting to an album for YouTube. So that's fun. I am very excited for this though. I've heard most of the singles leading up to this and I've enjoyed them all. Before we get into it, I do just want to say that this album reaction will be up uncut and unedited on Patreon. I did just start a Patreon. This will be my first post. Um, so if you're interested in supporting the channel and you're interested in seeing uncut reactions and you're interested in seeing them a little bit earlier before they're posted on YouTube, that would be great. That's an option now. No pressure. And uh, thank you so much in advance to anyone that checks that out. So let's just get right into it. As always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the video. Feel free to follow me on social media if you're interested in keeping up with me in between uploads. And let's just get into it with track number one, which is Welcome to My Island. I have already heard this. Welcome to my island. See the palm trees waving the wind. Welcome to my island. Hope you like me. You ain't leaving. First of all, I will say that I've been listening to the Charlie XCX George Daniel remix a lot since it's come out, so this feels so low-key in comparison. This does feel like the perfect opening track. Um, I will say I'm not an expert on Caroline's music. I've heard Pang and that's it. Um, but this does have a way lighter feel than that album, I feel like. Um, yeah, I feel like it's like a perfect introductory track. Well. You ain't leaving. Watch your ego, watch your head, girl. You're so smart, so talented, but now the water's turning red. Forget the rules, forget your friends, just you and your affection. Cause nothing's gonna be the same again. No, nothing's gonna be the same again. There is something about that part that reminds me of Rapture by Blondie. And I know that's a weird comparison, but there's something about the vocal delivery there. I don't know. This is a very fun song, though. That's not the most mind-blowing, incredible song I've heard by her necessarily, but it's a fun track. It's fun. It's cute. It's catchy. I like it as an opener. Um, I am interested to see where the album goes from here because all of the singles that I've heard have had very distinctly different sounds and I'm trying to figure out how they're all going to fit together so I'm interested to see where this goes. Um, let's get into track number two which is Pretty Impossible. <laughs> Oh, I really like this instrumental. I could be left alone. Then shawl is the drug they never knew you never tried. But you see it in my eyes, and that is where yeah. Starting the need down. Pretty impossible. Or a colon odyssey with the bloody nose. If I'm on your street, you'll be the last to know. But I get dizzy. Easy. 
So I think it goes without saying that her vocals are incredible. Also, the production on this one is really cool. Um, if there's two things that I expect from this, it's great vocals and great production, and this is already delivering both, so. You guys know I'm a sucker for strings. I liked that one. Um, one thing I am worried about going into this is that Caroline is someone that I have a hard time fully grasping on first listen. Her music usually really grows on me, so I am a little bit worried about that. I liked it, but I feel like it's going to be a grower. One thing I will say, because I am staring at the album cover right now, is that this album cover is incredible. Like, it is gorgeous. Um, let's get into track number two, which is Bunny is a Rider. I've obviously heard this one. Let's get into it. Bunny is a rider, sad I like and find it. No sympathy, mm, ain't nothing for free. Bunny is a rider, sad I like and find it. But I'm so not physical. I do, I do feel like a lady. I do, I do fire and I do, I do heart is. I've been obsessed with this song ever since it came out. I was going to say that it feels like it's been out forever. Um, apparently it's been out since July 14th, 2021, so it has been quite a long time. I actually didn't even know that this was on the album, but I do like this song, so pleasant surprise. Dirty like it's Earth Day, trying to wet that ballad. Can you cut that, try crush that back when I want to be on? I want on a Thursday. Gonna go ask Alice, gonna catch that rabbit, but I'm so not physical. I do, I do feel like a lady. I do, I do. Funny as a funny as a rider. Can't find a heart. Yeah, I'm so not physical. I do, I do. I still have that song in heavy rotation, even though it's been out for nearly two years now. I really love it. I think that it's just really enjoyable to listen to. It's really addictive. Um, I also love the way that the whistle part matches up with her. I do, I do. I think that that's super catchy. Let's get into track number four, which is Sunset, which is also a single that I have heard. These days I wear my body like an uninvited guest. Instead of turning left, the boy of patience is a magic kind of medicine. Said no regrets, cause you must sunset fiery red, forever fearless, and in your arms, a warm horizon. Don't look back, let's ride away, let's ride away. I wish I would have filmed my first reaction to this song because I was so caught off guard with the flamenco influence. Um, yes, I do. I do love this song. All of these singles are great. I feel like I'm just going to keep saying that. I love these songs. Um, and these ones have had time to grow on me, which, as I mentioned, is a benefit when it comes to Caroline's music. So many stories we were told about a safety net. But when I look for it, it's just a hand that's holding mine. I'm wearing black demo on the southern 
pulse of innocence And it's alright because it hides the dirt and hides the wine And in your arms, a warm horizon Don't look back, let's ride away Let's ride away This part is just heavenly I am interested to see how that one fits into the album as well. Um, that one sounds nothing like all of the songs that we've heard before. Um, I have a feeling that this isn't going to be the most cohesive album. I guess we'll see, but this feels a little bit all over the place so far. Um, let's get into Crew Drawing of an Angel. Draw the blinds, draw the bed. It's a matter of time till you wake up and watch me. Draw your brow with shaky hand. This one has a really cool atmosphere to it. I'm going to praise the production again. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to put it into words how this makes me feel. It gives me like I'm outside in the cold, in the dark energy. There's like something very outdoorsy about it. I don't know. It has a really cool sound to it. Draw your blood, draw your breath. Skip the whites of your eyes Till you wake up and watch me Draw your wings from your back I'll not be shy No, I'll not be gentle with you And the way that sound feels like it's like creeping up on you makes it feel really ominous too. I don't know, I really love this one. Okay, I figured it out. That song makes me feel like I'm being chased by a monster through a forest in the cold at night. That's what that song makes me feel like. Yeah, this album is a little bit um, scattered, I guess is how I would put it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Variety is good and it's kind of exciting because I don't know what I'm going to get next, but I would definitely prefer if this was a little bit more cohesive. Um, but yeah, th these are like all great songs individually, but as an album, I just kind of feel like I'm getting whiplash a little bit. Let's continue with the song I Believe. That synth, the like duh, 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 really reminds me of something and I'm trying to figure out what it is. I like, I'm trying not, not to compare to other artists because I know that people do that with her a lot and I'm sure that that's really annoying. But this reminds me of a song and I can't think of what. So let me know if you know what I'm thinking. That one, that one's really fun. Um, I feel like I had an easier time grasping that one on first listen. So that one's... One of my favorites so far. Let's get into Fly to You featuring Grimes and Dido.
Okay. Traveling through the dark, lost, but I'm free. I'm looking for something that nobody else can see. Will you still love me? So I don't really know much about Dido and Grimes' music is usually pretty hit or miss for me. I love some of it and I don't really care for some other of it. <laughs> um, that guitar is not what I would have expected to find in a song like this, but it's really pretty. I like this one. You know, I've thought about it. I do like that one. I don't love it. I would say that that's probably my least favorite so far. Um, I couldn't really find anything to like pick out about it to talk about it. I don't know. I That one kind of just like flew by for me. Um, maybe it'll grow on me on future listens, like I said. But yeah, on first listen, it's not bad. Um, I don't even know if I would consider it a skip, but it's my least favorite. Let's go to Blood and Butter. I am aware that this was released as a single. I have not heard it though. I avoided it since I knew that the album was coming soon. Look at you in denim and bows. I know the mode, the mode is lethal. Say you wanna show me a place. The place is here, the here is inside you. I really love this one. I think that this also sounds really cool. This one actually reminds me quite a bit of Crude Drawing of an Angel. Um, I think I'm realizing that maybe this isn't as all over the place as I thought it was. Yeah, I feel like she introduced this new sound that's like, that doesn't, it, it feels less moody or like dark than Pang did. And it feels like there's that going on with half the track list and then the other half sounds similar to Pang. And maybe it's not that all over the place. I feel like there's just two things going on here and yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about it right now. Um that being said, I do love the sound of this song. I think that this song is great so far. <laughs> God, this sounds incredible. Bagpipes. I feel like for the most part, 
the singles are the highlights here. I'm wondering how I would feel about this if I hadn't heard any of the singles. Like, there are definitely exceptions. I really loved Crude Drawing of an Angel, and I really loved I Believe, but I, I do feel like the singles are my favorite songs here, which I guess means she made a good choice when it comes to singles, but I, I wish I was feeling the album tracks a little bit more, and that'll probably come with time, but on first listen... I'm, I'm seeing why the singles were singles. Let's get into Hope Drunk Ever Asking. Starlight in a tunnel Kind of familiar Hope drunk ever asking How does it feel to know That is really pretty. I feel like I would listen to this as a lullaby if I was like a fairy or something. <laughs> I really love the way that that one subtly built up. That was a really pretty love song. The um, Pull Me Close and You'll Never Be Alone, They'll Find Our Bones is like very strangely romantic to me. <laughs> um, yeah, that one was really beautiful. Again, this just sounds absolutely immaculate. Let's get into Butterfly Net. Earth was silent, long fell asleep She dreamed of a winter Where you appeared to me There you were With your mirror Shining the world All over me There I was With my You know what? I feel like this album just clicked for me. I think I really love it. <laughs> um, I get I get what she's trying to do. I, I like the mixing of this very like um, kind of like natural acoustic analog sound with the very like electronic electro pop hyper pop sound. I actually think that that's really cool. It just clicked for me. I like this album. <laughs> I love how it clicked for me towards the end. Just disregard everything I said before. I do still feel like the track list is a little bit scattered, but I, I don't think it's quite as bad as I thought it was at first. I, I really like this album. I just decided. <laughs> I love how much movement this instrumental has. This is really pretty. I'll keep it brief. 
mean, I guess you could say I enjoyed that song since it kind of just changed my mind about the entire album. I get it now. There's something about an artist like Caroline Polachek making an album with an opener like Welcome to My Island with all of these more like outdoorsy natural sounds. I get it now. Disregard everything I said before. I feel like an idiot. It's it's early in the morning, first of all, okay? You can't hold it against me. Um, that song was really beautiful. I, once again, just have to praise the production. Um, this all just... Like, even if I'm not crazy about every single track, they all sound incredible. Um, let's get into Smoke. It's just smoke. I like how intense that song felt, especially the outro. It felt like it was building up a lot of momentum for the final track. I also like how the lyrics of that one add to the whole nature theme of the album. So let's get into the last track, which is Billions. I have already heard this one. Um, just a side note, it's kind of a pet peeve for me when artists release closing tracks as singles ahead of the album. Um, that's just a personal thing. Like, it, it, you know, it's not like an actual objective criticism. I just don't like when that happens. I don't know. I feel like it kind of spoils the ending, but let's get into Billions. My own personal gripe about single choice aside though, this is one of her best songs. This is potentially my favorite song she's ever made. I love this one. So, you know, as much as I don't love that it was released ahead of time, this song is incredible. It's just so good. This intro, this outro is so perfect too. That is basically 
the perfect closer. It's basically a perfect song. It's I, I want to say, listening to it in context of the album, this is my favorite Caroline Polachek song. So my favorite tracks are Billions is my number one, obviously. And then I want to say Blood and Butter and Crude Drawing of an Angel. I'll go with those three for now. Again, that'll probably change. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done an album reaction before where my opinion on the album changes like halfway through. Um, so that was interesting. I do like this album. I definitely think that since I did kind of catch on so late into the album that I will need more time um, before I can fully appreciate it. I, I, I really like it. I, I've just decided I really like it. <laughs> And I'm excited to re-listen to it with the context I have now in mind. Man, <laughs> I, I wish, I, I feel like there's so much I missed now that I'm kind of regretting, but it's fine. So yes, that is all from me. Definitely feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you like the video, as I said. Definitely feel free to let me know what you thought about the album and what your favorite tracks are, what your least favorite tracks are, whatever you think about it. Um, feel free to follow me on social media if you're interested and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.